So I got these really awesome shelves, as you can see here, that can store really heavy items up high. But getting them up there is a pain in the butt. So I started thinking of solutions. You know, I thought about maybe having a ladder that attaches to the wall in those like old libraries that you like push across. So I go back and forth between them. And I came across this YouTube video of a guy who actually built a little elevator in his garage, which I thought was awesome. And he put a winch up in the ceiling and then had, like, had a platform. But then I was like, ah, I don't really want to have like a permanent fixture here. And plus, I don't want to have to build two since I have two shelves that'll be doing that. And then I saw this other video on YouTube about pulleys and I was like, aha, I could put the winch on the ground, use a pulley to switch directions and make the elevator go up. And then I could put it on wheels so that, you know, I could go back and forth between the two. And then I've known about this uh, metal tubing. It's, it's called like super strut or uni channel strut or whatever, but it's basically pretty cool because you can put stuff together like Legos and you don't need like a welder or anything like that. So you know, bolt here, pulley there. Next thing you know, I got what I'm calling a mobile elevator. Now I didn't want to go through and show you every detail of how I actually built this because I know for most people, it'd be a pretty boring video. And on the other side of that, I don't want to be liable if somebody did try to do this and made a mistake and accidentally hurt themselves or something. So that's my disclaimer. Don't try this at home and I'm not accepting any liability if you do. But I do want to show you what I think is some of the coolest features about this guy and just a basic rundown of how it actually works. So these feet here are sweet. I hadn't seen something like that before, but it's pretty awesome how you can ratchet it up and down and you can basically go from rolling on wheels to a sturdy platform. So one thing that I think is super cool is how this is actually completely wireless. I can push and pull it around. There's nothing to plug in and I've got a remote to actually be able to control it. So if I want to go up or down, it's that easy. Just press the remote button. I do have to charge the battery every once in a while. It takes less than an hour to charge it and I just plug it in and then I put the cord back into here. If you're curious about the parts and everything I used, I'll put everything I used for this build in the description. It was Home Depot, uh, McMaster Car, Harbor Freight, and Amazon. A lot of stuff on Amazon. You'll see it in the description. So you can see I got these trolleys that go in each one of these four sides that right on the inside track of this guy, which is two pieces placed back to back. You can buy them welded back to back, but it's cheaper to just buy this little piece and connect them. I have one at the top and one at the bottom that makes up this column right here. And there's four of those, one on each corner. All right, so you've got this piece and then there's another post on the four corners here where there's a track facing each other inwards. So this is the inside of the strut, same with this guy. So I've got another trolley here that's actually bolted onto this piece and then rolls inside this track. And it's the opposite at the top where I've actually got one bolted onto this piece and it rolls on the inside of this track. So that's how this is moving up and down. And obviously it's being hoisted up by the winch and use a series of pulleys. It comes out, gets a pulley there that goes to this wheel right here, which comes around and goes to this pulley, comes back down and attaches down here at the bottom of this where I've got these two posts that go underneath this big column here. There's a pulley attached there and then just comes back up and attaches at the top here. Now I put this piece on the outside for a few reasons. One is to give it a little bit of an angle as it comes around this bottom piece here. Another reason is I wanted it to be out so as it goes around the wheels up top there, it's got an angle. And then I made it come out a little bit for a few reasons. One is so that this column here doesn't get in the path of this guy. So you can see those are on the outside. It also makes it so the platform sticks out just a little bit so that if you're trying to go up to those shelves, you can actually roll it super close and get this to be like almost right next to the shelf for like scooting heavy things off. So if you'll notice what's cool is this inside track is being lifted from those pulleys and rolling on these tracks in here. But then the platform itself is actually lifted a different way. It's rolling on this inside track here, but you can see this is just a, a string or a rope 
that goes up and over a wheel up there or a pulley comes down and then it just attaches right here. So as you push this inner column up and this is stationary, it's attached, it has to like pull on this side and then pull this up. So it's just four strings on each corner that cause it to lift. So I did build this in CAD before I started buying the parts and working on just to make sure that it would actually work out. And there was a lot of kinks to work out. It's something that was just cool and kind of lucky that I saw was it is actually all supported on this one bolt. There's four of those and all the weight is on there. It is a grade eight bolt. I did the math, it should be able to hold all the weight I'm gonna put on it. I wouldn't put more than like 500 pounds on this even though it can easily take a thousand. But something that's unique is if you think about it, this pulley and where it's connected here is pulling down on this bar, but then on each end, you've got the same amount of force pulling up on the bar. So that was just a unique feature. And for all you safety fanatics out there, yeah, you got a point. So I picked up a couple of these, which is called a fall arrest, where it's basically like a seat belt to where this will extend, but the instant you fall fast, it locks up on you. So what I did was attach this end up to strong, secure rafters in the ceiling. Then I pull this hook down and just attach it to my shelves. So whenever I want to get stuff off and on the shelves, I just grab my hook right here and then hook it onto the bottom of my platform. So that way, when I roll this over, it's secured and then I can get on and go up. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that'll just make it want to tilt or, you know, kind of throw me off. But what happens is, is if this isn't really, really level, the trolleys actually bind up. So if it starts falling at an angle, it'll just lock up and kind of be stuck where it is, which is also just kind of nice, but that definitely makes me feel a little bit safer having this guy on there. All right, folks, well, that's my mobile elevator. Uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I've been working on a lot of other projects at the same time as this. So uh, if you're at all interested, subscribe. I'll be making some really cool videos here in the next few months. And um, yeah, what started this whole thing was this Christmas tree right here. I had got it up there with a ladder and I realized if I did that like a hundred times, I'd probably fall one of the times. So it spawned this whole idea, but I'm really happy I did it. It was a fun project and I uh, enjoyed making it. All right, see ya.